Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Catalan Studio Quick Learning Sessions. As you all know, I have started publishing short 5 to 10 minutes of videos explaining the use cases which contains the problem statements and the solutions. So this is our second lesson where I'm going to teach you how can we automate tests in Catalan Studio in manual view without using any coding language. What is the problem statement? Automating and organizing test cases in Catalan Studio can be challenging for users who prefer a manual step-by-step -step approach without coding. Users may find it difficult to efficiently automate test cases using groovy coding which is supported by Catalan, especially if they are unfamiliar with any coding languages in the past. So this can lead users to give up before actually they start automating anything. So what is the solution? We can generate test steps or we can automate test cases in Catalan Studio in manual view without any coding language using keywords and objects. So what is the precondition for this particular lesson? You should be familiar with capturing the elements in the object repository before you automate the test cases. However, I'm going to publish another video demonstrating how to capture elements in the object repository. So now let us jump on to Catalan Studio and see how can we automate test cases in Catalan Studio using manual view without even a single line of code. So this is my Catalan Studio Enterprise. You have to first create a folder under test cases folder. Right click, new and then let's create a new folder called quick learning sessions. Now let us create a test case under this folder. Right click on this folder, select new and then select test case. Name the test case as first test automation. This creates a blank test case and you can see you will be landing onto manual view and this is your script view. For this session we will be concentrating on only manual view as the end user does not know the scripting language. As I told you earlier, as a precondition, I have already captured the elements under object repository. Under quick learning, you can see I have already captured all the elements that are required to automate our test case. What is our test case? Let us go to Cura Healthcare website, which is a demo website provided by Catalan Studio. So this is the application that we are going to automate. So I'm going to automate a test case related to making an appointment. How can we do that? Click on make appointment. Provide username, provide password and click on login. As soon as you click on login, you will be landing onto make appointment page. So I would like to fill the information under make appointment page where I will be selecting the facility and then I will be selecting healthcare program and then select the date on which you need appointment and provide your comments and click on book appointment. As soon as you click on book appointment, you need to verify that the appointment confirmation is displayed on this particular page. And then you're gonna log out from the page. And this is our test case that we would like to automate. And how can we automate this test case without using coding language? It's pretty simple. You have to use a button called add where you'll be adding the keywords, built-in keywords provided by Catalan Studio. The main strength of this Catalan Studio is you can use the built-in keywords instead of coding language. So you just need to click on add web UI keyword. First, I would like to open browser, right? You just need to enter open browser. So you can see I already have a built-in keyword called open browser. So once you open the browser, you need to navigate to the URL. Again, go to add select web UI keyword and here you just simply type navigate to URL right you have got this one select the second one and now provide the URL of your application 
So this is my URL of the application and click OK. Once you navigate, you need to click on make appointment button, right? So that means again, add another keyword and you need to mention click. See, this is your click inbuilt keyword. And now you need to select the object on which you need to click. So here you can see double click on this null and it will prompt you to select the object element that you would like to use. So as I told you, I have stored all the objects under quick learning. And here, this is my make appointment button. Select the make appointment button, click OK. And once you click on make appointment button, you will be landing onto appointment page. And now you need to fill your username and password. Again, this time, again, you need to select add and then web UI. Instead of that, you can directly click on add. So here you need to enter the text, right? You simply set text. You can select set text. So I'm setting the text where in username. Simply double click on this and then select username from this particular element. This is my username element. So before I set the text, I would like to validate that the element present. How can I do that? You can simply select the row, the previous row and then click on add. Here I would like to verify the element present. Verify element present. So this is the keyword that I need to select. What element present? I can verify the element present or not. What, which element? The username. You can double click on this or there is another method you can simply drag from object repository and drop it here. So I'm verifying if the element present and you can provide the timeout here. I would like to provide five seconds. Done. And here when I'm setting the text under username object, you need to pass the value that you would like to enter. What is the value? How can I enter the value? Double click on this and then provide the value that you would like to set. John Doe. Click OK. And then again, add another keyword. And now again, set text. This is to set the password. Simply drag the password object and drop it here. And what is the password? My password is, this is not a password. Click OK. And then you'll be clicking on login button. You can simply add and then click. So select this one and what button you're clicking on? You're clicking on login. Simply drag this login button from object repository, drop here. And then you need to close the browser. Add another step and here enter the keyword called close browser. That's it. So now we have automated the login functionality. Let me simply run this and see if it works correctly. You need to go to run and then select the browser on which you would like to run the test. I'm going to select Chrome browser. So it opened the Chrome browser and then it should click on make appointment button and then enter username, enter password, click on login and then close the browser. So you can see here all the test steps are passed. That means we are able to automate the test case without using a single line of code. The end user need not to have a knowledge on any scripting language. So how simple it is to automate your test case without having any coding knowledge by using manual mode. Hope you all understand how can we automate test cases in manual mode without using any coding language with Catalan Studio.